Meteorologist Mark Torgross, a little bit of a late start this morning. I had to take my wife's car into the shop there. Uh, let's get started here. We do have smoke covering our skies. So if you're noticing a lot of cloudiness and you heard about sunny forecasts, I think we'd probably nix that because the smoke is so thick that it's going to actually look and act like cloudiness. So here we go. We'll start off with the satellite picture. And, you know, you really can't pick out the smoke anymore because it's everywhere. I can, and if you look closely, you can kind of see a little bit lighter in the southern third of lower Michigan, a little bit darker smoke, thicker smoke from central Michigan through uh, much of Wisconsin back into Minnesota. But if you look all around, the entire uh, Midwest is covered in smoke in the skies. All right, as far as weather goes, not much weather going on. If we didn't have the smoke, the forecast would be sunny and gorgeous. Um, so still going to be without rain. Here's our model forecast. We'll go through this afternoon. I'm sitting at this afternoon. The winds will pick up out of the southwest. Hello, Marion Springs. And Vicki Warner from Brighton, good morning. Uh, so here's Tuesday afternoon, this afternoon, and it's dry. And again, really nice, except for the eerie smoke that, you know, we don't know how to handle it as far as in a weather forecast other than just, you know, what it looks like now is probably what it should look like most of the day, maybe thinning a little bit. Um, Deborah Kelly wants to know how the smoke is going to affect people with respiratory illness. I'm not really sure. You know, once it starts to rain, that smoke will come down, but it'll come down pretty quickly. Once it starts to rain, when? This is Wednesday afternoon, cold front in northern Michigan with some showers along it. Wednesday evening, cold front in the northern half of lower Michigan, Bay City, Saginaw, the Thumb with a few showers. Overnight, Wednesday night, cold front dropping into far southeast lower Michigan. A few showers, Detroit, Ann Arbor, Jackson, the Thumb. And then by Thursday morning, cold front moving out of the area. And you see the blue lines. That means chilly temperatures. That means we could have some frost. I'll show that to you in uh, just a second here. Uh, and then we go into the weekend. This is Friday. I'm thinking Friday is a great bonfire night cool temperatures and light wind and then this is saturday and saturday looks uh, gorgeous also and probably having the smoke come out of the sky as the cold front moves through so maybe friday saturday we actually get into some clear skies and when's our next chance of rainfall not until about tuesday of next week and it looks pretty slim at that all right Let's talk about temperatures. I think what you better do is anything you hear now as far as a forecast, I'm going to be uh, adjusting downward, but anything you hear is a, just a general lower end forecast, we'll call it. How's that sound? I think you better take about five degrees off of it because the smoke and the, is going to cover the sunshine and that will definitely lower our temperatures. So here you're looking at uh, model forecasts and weather service forecasts of 73. I think you better keep it at 68 or so in uh, southern lower Michigan. And tomorrow, expected to head toward 80 degrees. Still the smoke in the air probably. And I think you're probably looking at instead of 80, you're probably looking at 75-ish or so. Or any one of these numbers wherever you're at. Take five off of it. Now Thursday, the cold front will be through and the smoke probably scoured out of the air, so to speak, but cooler temperatures, 50s in the north, 60s in the south. Look at Friday, Friday high temperature only in the upper 50s to near 60 through central lower Michigan, low 50s northern Michigan, and uh, just low 60s southern lower Michigan. Uh, Saturday, about the same, cool fall Saturday, and Sunday temperatures will be in the 60s to 70s, a little bit of rebound early next week. And if we're talking highs only in the upper 50s, that's my magical number. If you get clear skies and light wind for it to drop to 35 at your location, 
If you're 58 in the late afternoon and clear and light winds, you'll probably drop to 35 and that means some frost. So this is Wednesday morning and it's uh, cool, but not too bad. Then this is Thursday morning, 30s, northern lower Michigan, 20s across the UP. So first freeze perhaps um, in the UP. Now this is Friday morning. Frosty temperatures where you see the pink. And the 30s, plunging all the way to Jackson and Lansing, Grand Rapids, Alma, Ithaca, Mount Pleasant. Saturday morning, also very chilly in the 30s with some frost. And Sunday morning, chilly with some 30s and some scattered frost around. And then a little bit of a warm up next week. So, four days in northern half of lower Michigan in the 30s. That's going to start the fall color change, definitely. And finally, one more thing for you I'll leave you with is um, Hur Hurricane Sally. This is the rainfall projection for Hurricane Sally. Let me get it to a perspective where you can see where the action is going on. Uh, Joe and I what? No, not snow anytime soon. Okay, let's hold on to that. Hey, good morning, Liz from Newport and Kathy Bacon. Good morning to you. So this is the total rainfall expected. And that pink right in there is a rainfall amount. Can't see the legend on this of 15 to 20 inches of rain. Alabama, Florida, uh, the western end of the Florida Panhandle. So historic flooding as Hurricane Sally slows to a crawl a couple of miles an hour as it makes a landfall. Winds are expected to be about 85 miles an hour. So it's a, it's a Category 1, possibly low-end Category 2 hurricane. But the flooding and the rain is probably going to be, the um, unfortunately, the biggest problem with this thing. Could you imagine uh, 20 inches of rain, some isolated 30 inch amounts possible? So there you have it. Our main thing is smoke and no precipitation. So a smoky sky, cut five off of whatever you your phone app or whatever you get your forecast from until everybody gets adjusted. And by the time the apps and uh, forecasts get adjusted, then the clouds, the smoke will be scoured out of the sky for a couple of days by Friday or Saturday. There's your forecast. Thanks for joining me on the M Live morning weather update. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have yourselves a great Tuesday.